Yo, what's going on, guys? Try back again here, bringing another video. This one's going to be talking about uh, UFC and Fox 3. Uh, the matchup for this one's going to be uh, Pat Barry uh, versus LeVar Johnson. So, um, yeah, I mean, this should be a huge heavyweight fight. Uh, if you guys don't know LeVar Johnson, basically, he was in Strike Force before. I watched him fight a few times. He's basically a huge guy, six foot four, like 250 something pounds, and he's got uh, like sledgehammers for fists. I mean, the guy comes to throw like. <laughs> he comes to knock you out. That's all there is to it. He comes to throw down, man. And uh, obviously, you guys know Pat Barry, you know, um, one of the best strikers in mixed martial arts, uh, period. I mean, the guy throws down something crazy. If you guys watched his last fight against uh, Christian Moorcraft when he knocked him out, it was, uh, oh, my God, it was <laughs> it was brutal, man. Like, uh, it's funny because Pat Barry is such a cool guy. He's such a nice guy. And they're like, you know, he's being all cool to beforehand. But then when he gets in the cage, man, you know, and he had him down there at the end there, and he threw those last couple strikes, and just, oh my God, his mouth and everything, like, Jesus, man. So this fight, I wanted to do a prediction for this fight, just because this is going to be awesome, and it's going to be free on TV, UFC on Fox, so, oh man, this is going to be great. Um, two awesome strikers, heavyweights, huge guys, going to be throwing down. Uh, also, another reason why I wanted to do this video is because recently, uh, Pat Barry was on um, MMA, uh, what is it, um, HD Net MMA is it Insider I think Insider no HD Net fights you know Boss Rutan's show uh, and he was talking about um, they were they asked him a question like something on lines of uh, you know like does a fighter learn more from their losses and this kind of stuff and he's like uh, he starts talking about Dragon Ball Z and I was like that's awesome so I just had to had to do a video game my thoughts out there like like I think Pat Perry is probably the coolest fighter in mixed martial arts like personality wise. He really is. I mean, the guy's awesome. He's like, isn't that the whole premise behind the Dragon Ball Z cartoon? After they lose, they get stronger and stronger. Man, I, I don't know. That was just, it was hilarious to me. It was so funny. So anyway, um, I'd really like to see Pat Barry, um, you know, get up there again near the top and be fighting possibly for for the title or, you know, get closer. Um, he's probably, I think Pat Barry's probably top 10, but he's probably pretty close to around 10. Definitely top 15 for sure. Uh, LeVar Johnson coming in the UFC, um, you know, I think this might be a bad matchup for him because the thing is, is that Pat Barry is so skilled with the, with the striking. Uh, if you guys watched him fight um, Anthony Hardonk, um, man, he was tagging Anthony Hardonk something bad. Uh, like uh, Hardonk, I think he was uh, throwing more kicks in that fight and uh, he was trying to and Pat Barry just kept lighting him up with the fists. And he's a, the thing is, is weird about Pat Barry is he's, he's so much smaller than these guys. And he still puts it to him. Like, Christian Warcraft is way bigger than him. Puts it to him, man. And that's the thing. Like, uh, like a lot of people I know were saying a while ago, like, should Pat Perry be cut from the UFC? Okay, here's the reason why I say no. No, like, even if he loses his next three fights in a row, I don't care. Number one, because he comes to fight every time. You know, when Pat Perry comes out there to fight, you know, even if it's uh, Mirko Krokop, one of his heroes, or Czech Congo, or anybody, you know, he's blasting these guys, man. And um, Or Steph Stefan Struve. Um, you know, when he got caught in that triangle, does he just sit there and go, no, he picks him up freaking like power bomb style. He literally power bombed him, he power bombed him, you know, <laughs> you see, like picked him up over his head, fully extended to the point where his back was arched, jumps up and boom, right down. And, and I don't know, Stefan Struve somehow managed to, he got his elbow down and it seemed to help brace it, but you know, just man how exciting is that and then the comeback from Czech Congo and stuff like that so no I, I don't agree that Pat Barry should be cut that's the first reason second reason is because he's such a cool guy you know he's just such a cool guy cool personality and people you know people might say well that doesn't matter it does matter though you know like when we're paying to see somebody uh, fight like Chael Sonnen for example you know nobody knew who Chael Sonnen was before he started talking crap about Anderson Silva nobody knew who he was you know people were like you know like and now he's he's so famous you know you, you can't even you know think of Chelsea without thinking of trash talk you know what I mean and even if he loses you're not gonna be cut out of it so anyway um so this fight should be very exciting um gotta love that it's free and you know uh, always love to watch Pat Perry fight whenever he's watching or whenever he's uh, fighting I definitely tune in to watch uh, Lavar Johnson huge guy. This should be an awesome, awesome fight, guys. So I'm going to pick Pat Barry just because I think that he's a superior striker. Um, he does well against big guys, you know. Uh, Czech Congo was an exception. I mean, he had Czech Congo, you know, and, you know, Czech Congo is a tough guy. He doesn't give up. He doesn't quit. And, you know, Czech Congo could knock out anybody with one punch if he lands it. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to definitely gonna pick Pat Barry in this fight. Um, and uh, I would love to see. We should start, like, a petition or something. Let me know what you guys think. Sign this right at the bottom. 
I'd love to see Pat Berry do a Kamehameha after if he wins. That would just be awesome. I wrote this in the video on HNF Fights and people were voting it up. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Could he do a Kamehameha after the win? I mean, that would just be so cool. I remember Carlos Newton back in the day, he used to do that. I, I absolutely thought it was the funniest, coolest thing ever. So, And he should maybe change his name from Pat HD Barry to Pat DBZ Barry. I think that would be better. Later, guys. Peace.